Hey guys, so here I am. I'm in uh, West Kelowna. I'm at uh, one of the newest wineries to open up along uh, on the West Side Wine Trail here. It's called The Hatch and uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, you can see they got some picnic tables there. A couple of the, couple of the girls are having their picnic lunch and uh, nice big parking lot, but you know, it's a uh, little bit of Okanagan Lake vineyards it's gorgeous so let's go inside the tasting room and uh, let's go try some wines welcome to hatch here we are inside there right, so here Beautiful. we are we're inside the uh, the tasting room here at the hatch uh, three months old uh, on a 20 acre property that was planted about 30 years ago there's Pinot Blanc Pinot Noir and a smidge of Gamay, which, you know, I like a little smidge of Gamay every once in a while. But let me, it's, uh, it's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous room here. And uh, right there, my buddy Andrew, who formerly of Marky Wine Cellars. Yeah, that's where I got my start in the game there. One of the, uh, one of the best independent uh, wine stores in Vancouver. Now, you're part of the team here. And uh, now your sister, uh, your sister winery is Perseus, so a lot of people may be familiar with Perseus, but you guys are doing something a little bit different here at the Hatch, correct? We took a definite different direction than Perseus and pretty much every other winery in the uh, Okanagan's doing. So it's really fun to have the opportunity to come up with some crazy ideas and let people actually allow us to do it. Awesome. So um, normally when you come to a winery, you're going to see that winery's name on the bottles. Uh, you've got three wines here that we're going to try and... Uh, I do see the hatch on one of them, but I think really um, hatch is the property and, the, and, and you know, the overarching umbrella of what you're doing, but you're actually developing different labels and different wines based on the vineyards that you're working with. Yeah, the hatch itself is a, is a concept to sort of showcase the diversity of the Okanagan, to do different grapes, to do different blends, to do different packaging, to showcase some wonderful art, which has a pretty fascinating story to it in and of itself. And awesome. It's just we wanted to be different and look different and sound different and taste different. Awesome. Well, I like that. And uh, it's busy. The phone's ringing. Um, so <laughs> let's start with our first tasting. Right, what, okay. uh, what are we going to start with? So this is what we call our house white named Bianco. Got to zoom in on that there. Awesome. Adorned with our uh, lovable corporate mascot there. Uh, awesome. And it is Pinot Blanc with a bit of Viognier. Mmm. So give us some of the tasting notes on this. Because I, uh, well, I drink a lot, but I don't know. I don't know if my palate is as refined as yours. Well, the good thing about Bianco is it's definitely not a uh, wine for refinement. It's a uh, kind of wine you pair with an open glass at 2 a.m. Uh, we've got mason jars, which are technically our official drinking vessel of the hatch. Awesome. Uh, Pinot Blanc is fresh, crisp, delicate. The only fat and rich. You put it together. You got a wine with a lot of flavor, but still easy and refreshing to drink. Awesome. Yeah, I would I definitely agree. This is this is a very easy patio sipper, and uh, especially you know we've had a pretty hot summer. Yeah. Um, this would be amazing on that. So what's uh, what are we gonna try next? Let me finish this. Mm, yummy. Okay. What's next? So coming up next from our screaming frenzy lineup. Get a look at that label there. Awesome. Our, okay. Uh, Pinot Noir. And so this vineyard is actually down in the Similkameen. A very interesting. Mm basically decrepit and derelict looking vineyard. You'd never expect good grapes to come off this property, but the quality of wine that we've produced from grapes off there have been pretty fantastic. Awesome. I don't know if you remember from all my wine buying days when you were at Marquis, but uh, Pinot Noir is uh, one of my favorites. So it's one uh, of our favorites too. So we've gone pretty heavy into the world of Pinot. Mmm. Yeah. Very easy drinking. What's, uh, what am I tasting in there? I sort of describe this as the, the wild man of our Pinot Noir. It's not a nice sort of herbal, savory side to it. Uh, sort of some of the black currant. Mm, that's, that's what I was tasting. Awesome. Delicious. And uh, last but not least, what, uh, what do we have? This is our Dynasty Red. I think packaging and labeling wise could be our finest achievement yet. Awesome. It's uh, where we veer away from the single vineyard concept and wanted to make a wine befitting of the elephant. And so we decided to go for a walk around the winery, pick out some Oop. barrels that didn't have a home, and this <laughs> ended up being a uh, blend of Malbec, Merlot, and Syrah. Awesome. So we wanted a, definitely a big, rich wine, because we got the elephant on it. Yeah, absolutely, okay, yeah. So this is definitely a little bit bolder, 
a little bit, um, uh, yeah, it's a bigger red than, mm -hmm. the, than the Pinot. So the folklore of the hatch. When we started building this place last year, we had a really good contractor who came in and he was kind of asking us, what do, you want, what do you want this place to look like? And we showed him this picture and said, build us that, but bigger. See that? And he laughed <laughs> and we said, no, we're serious. Build us that, but bigger. And that's basically how everything came together. Awesome. So, uh, so let, let's actually talk about the tasting room here. So you've actually got, um, so what we're standing in now, obviously you've done some work on the space and he's expanded it, but uh, this used to be the workroom of yeah. the original uh, owner of the property. Yeah, he's a very eccentric old German character and this was his workshop and we took over, we didn't want to build another you know, tacky expensive winery, we wanted to build something. No offense to the tacky expensive wineries out there. <laughs> uh, we wanted to build something or create something that was much more rustic, laid back, enjoyable, something weirder, something different. And so we gutted his old workshop. Uh, actually, the first thing that we came across were the doors before we even had a name. A Which I tried to enter here. earlier, but, uh, but they were locked. But uh, and yeah, so they're beautiful doors. 160 year old doors from Chicago. The ceiling's 115 year old reclaimed tin. From I, it's, New let's York see if City. I can if I can pan up there. You can just sort of see. It's actually it's the patina on that is amazing. Yeah. And you've got these great big beams. Uh, you know, you've got this planked uh, plank tasting bar, which you, everyone can just see there. You've got a collection of old farm implements, and there's the probably the I don't know right over there. You can see there's a huge collection <laughs> of. Uh, old uh, shovels, um, and then, the, so there's another building on the property, and that is, uh, that was his garage, correct? Yeah, and so that, once we finally get finished up, is gonna be our sort of reception center, private tasting room, uh, barrels and bingo, whatever we can think of to do in that small building. Right? Awesome, barrels like, and bingo. I think I'm coming up for barrels and bingo at the hatch. I think a good idea. I yeah, like that'd it. be kind of fun, awesome. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so I encourage you to come check out uh, the hatch here in uh, west side of Kelowna. On there on the West Side Wine Trail, They're, they've been open for about three months. Uh, they got 20 acres planted here, and they've got 25 acres uh, under uh, under management as well. With uh, I think is it uh, 22 other vineyards. So uh, yeah, you know it's kind of interesting out here at the Hatch, and uh, they're brand new. So come check them out. Uh, say hello to my friend Andrew here, and uh, <laughs> drink a couple of wines. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Cheers.